The Western Hills Viaduct is falling apart, and we know at this point saying that sounds like a broken record. Everyone knows it needs to be fixed, but actually moving the project forward seems to always get always get put on the back burn. Local Charles Brad Underwood joins us live along Central Parkway with where the project stands tonight. Brad, good evening. Well, good evening, Kyle. Yeah, we learned from the Hamilton County engineer that at some point next year, the city of Cincinnati will be putting up that netting on the underside of the top level to catch any falling debris. But when it comes to the construction of a new bridge, we're looking at least the very earliest at 2025 for that construction to begin. The Western Hills Viaduct is one of five bridges that connects the west side to downtown and uptown. It's the oldest, the biggest, and the most traveled. It's also falling apart. I absolutely know people that avoid this bridge, especially if they have to carry, travel on the underside of it. The total cost of a new bridge is about $335 million. Hamilton County engineer Eric Beck says design work is happening, but real progress is driven by money. We've secured about $118 million to date, so we're, we're getting there. We're chipping away at it. Commissioner Denise Driehaus says that update is a good news, bad news situation. I think the good news is that the local match by uh, the city and the county are in place, but we have not gotten the support that we were hoping for from the federal government related to infrastructure. Westside business owner Pete Whitty describes it a different way. It's just total frustration. Whitty says we've all known about the dangers of the crumbling bridge for 15 years. It's become a political talking point for candidates, but yet nothing has been done. Not only is it unsafe in many respects, dropping concrete, just the literal structure of it, but it's also built to a much older standard, not really meant to take the kind of traffic load that it gets daily. Whitty says it's good to hear a date, even if it is five years from now. But he says maybe the most aggravating part of this is what he calls a lack of leadership in getting the project pushed above others. We see new stadiums built. We see new walls put in to make sure Columbia Parkway isn't going to be having landslides anymore. But yet the number one project uh, for West Side infrastructure still sits unattended to. Now, the county is working with a lot of uh, other agencies and businesses. The city putting up the netting. The state will be involved in the on and off ramps to I-75. They're also working very closely with CSX, the rail yard uh, across the, the highway where the bridge actually goes over because whatever design they pick, this is going to have to be a bridge that can be built essentially in the air and not on the ground because of all those active rail lines. Reporting live tonight, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Brad, thank you so much. Duke Energy's electric substation will be relocated and Duke is paying for that. That move saves the project about $30 million.